my delightfully frightful friends, welcome back to Witchinary. If you have yet to subscribe to this channel, then please do so because we are getting crafty and spooky all month long. And today I wanted to bring to you the Lawn Fawn Trick or Treat stamp set. I love, like love, love, love that Lawn Fawn just has these tiny little bundles that you can buy for a very inexpensive price and you can get a large variety from these tiny little stamps because y'all already know, I've said it a number of times, mama is cheap. Mama has a Taco Bell budget and she just can't stray away from that, okay? Like, there's two things in life that I need, stamps and Taco Bell. One cannot impede on the budget of the other. So the fact that Lawn Fawn has these little bundles that I can just kind of get for an inexpensive price makes my life so much happier. From my stash, I'm going to pull out a piece of poppy paper, a piece of sunshine paper, and these are both found at Paper Source, and a piece of Classic Nina Solar White Stock, uh, White Stock, Card Stock, that is in an 80 pound weight. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp down all of the three images that came in this kit, um, not in this kit, in this um, stamp set, just because I want to make a trio of cards that, or like a little set that belongs together. And I was very, very inspired by the candy corn that was in this um, stamp set. I just really think it's adorable. I think it's very, very cute. And I want it to kind of use the colors as a way to paint the candy corn. Now, I do have to admit that like off camera or the first time I tried to make these cards, I painted my candy corns wrong. And I feel like someone should just walk around with a little like... Um, Bell just saying shame 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 because I absolutely love candy corn it's kind of one of those really weird trivia fun facts about me I love candy corn and it's one of the reasons also that I got the Simon Says Stamp um, limited edition Halloween kit um, I saw that it brought little treat bags but in my head I didn't put two and two together so I thought they were sending us candy corn and it was just the best incentive for me to like get that kit because I thought I was gonna get candy corn. Clearly, I'm a sucker because it was like, it was just the little cellophane bags with like cool toppers, but whatever. From my stash, I'm also gonna pull out my Tombow brush pen, and this is actually just the color 933, it's just orange. And I'm going to color the orange strip on my candy corns for both the yellow and the white panels. And I'm going to leave the orange one alone because obviously that already has an orange strip, and I just that would make no sense to me. I'm then gonna pull out my white Prismacolor pencil and then I felt like that wasn't vibrant enough. So from my stash, I actually just bought this Pen Touch um, fine point um, marker. I got it from Paper Presentation. It's a quick dry permanent opaque um, sort of marker and it really does paint white. And I thought it was perfect for that awesome orange poppy background. So I go ahead and I just paint the tips of all of my little candy corn with that white marker, including the yellow sunshine paper. And I was very, very surprised to see that this marker actually shined through very, very well. Um, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that at all. It very much was my first time using it. So I was very pleasantly surprised with the product. I'm then going to go back in with my... I believe this is my light orange marker from my Tombow stash and I'm just going to color where all the yellow um, little faces are. Now because my um, my orange paper is orange and it doesn't really absorb this um, marker too well, I actually had to go into my Prismacolor pencils and pull out my neon yellow Prismacolor pencil and just color in all of the yellow for my orange paper and I really like the way that this turned out so that way um, I can have a little you know orange paper a white paper and the yellow paper and each of the paper contribute their own little lines as according to the paper and I'm not even going to touch the bats I just like the bats as they are this is one of my go-to stamp sets for Halloween just because it's super easy and you can come up with so many different things Amy R had her own thing, just gonna toss her in there one more time because I know you guys don't get tired of hearing me talk about her enough. So yeah, anyway, yeah. Once I was done coloring all of my images, I'm just going to go back into my stash and um, trim a few of those pieces of paper in Sunshine and Poppy because I do wanna have little banners at the top of my cards that say trick or treat. And I wanted to make sure that I had 
the papers kind of would coordinate with each and I wasn't initially sure if I wanted to layer them on top of each other and then just have like one white one or whatever so I just kind of went with it and just you know experimented while everything was in front of me honestly the, these cards were like super super easy to make and in real time I probably spent 20 minutes on them maybe maybe 20 minutes is a little bit quick I spent maybe 35 minutes on it I do remember watching an episode of psych while watching these so I mean while making these so yeah anyway once I decided on the papers I wanted to make sure they all were similar in size because I didn't want them to look too differently from one another so I had to like make sure and be super anal about this and correct the length and sizes of everything now this took me a bit and I don't know why I didn't think about just doing this to begin with just layering my papers together so they're all the exact same length as that beautiful orange paper but guys you know what brilliance sometimes doesn't strike you the first 10 15 minutes sometimes it strikes you 25 minutes into a show so yeah once I was done actually getting that little like strip ready I was ready to go with all of my stamping and I of course decided to go with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink to ink everything down because why not, you know? After I was done inking up all of my, you know, trigger treat sentiments onto all of my um, papers, I decided that I wanted to adhere my actual um, papers to some ultra matte black cardstock which, you know, was a little bit it wasn't weird, it just like, it's expected. I also raised up all of my little bookmarks on top of some foam circles just because, you know, I felt like these needed a little bit of dimension and wherever there were little blank spaces, I just go ahead and I fill those spaces up with a few more candy corns. I really wanted to drive the candy corn idea home. So yeah, from my stash, I pulled out a piece of ultra matte black cardstock and I start adhering down my cards down to it. And I don't know why, I just noticed that I had my orange piece be slightly bigger than the rest of them, not sure why, miscalculated, y'all know I'm spatially challenged by now, it is what it is. Anyway, from my stash I pulled out a piece of this amazing orange shimmer cardstock, I'm pretty sure this is from Simon Says Stamp and I'm gonna have to hunt it down and find the link so I can actually give you guys the link. And once I was done adhering these little um, cards to this I pulled out another piece of Nina solar white cardstock this time in 120 pound um, weight and I made a card base out of that just to adhere the white card down to that I don't know why I actually really like that orange and black one it might be my favorite one yeah but yeah once these are done I was very very happy with it and I wasn't entirely sure if I wanted to keep it like that because there was just still way too much space in between those bats, at least way too much for my liking. So I just go in with some Nuvo Drops with the same kind of colors that I was trying to work with or the opposite color that the bookmark wasn't. So for this card, I'm going to be going in with some Ripened Pumpkin Nuvo Drops. For my orange card, I'm going to go in, well, for my yellow card, I'm going to go in with some Oyster Gray because it kind of looks white. And I felt like that honestly tied the look of these candy corns together. Um, and for my last card, I'm going to go in with some dandelion yellow just to get everything nice and tidy and together. Now, and yes, I was very surprised that I did not pull out my ebony black Nouveau drops for this because I absolutely love those Nouveau drops. But I don't know. I just felt like this was cute enough and simple enough that, you know, it just didn't need all that extra jazz you know well guys this just about wraps up my video for today i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys enjoyed watching until next time take care